we promoted an error that prayer is more important than the world. Oh, my pastor said, my G.O. said, daddy said, mommy said, what did God say? They say, stop to lie that prayer is superior to the world. No, any prayer not based on the world is banza. Why do we have night vigils in prayer? No night vigils in the world. The theme of our conference is the omnipotent word. Omnipotence is often referred to a deity, a God, having unlimited power, having great power and influence, all-powerful, almighty, supreme, most high, preeminent. Now, these are attributes you can only ascribe to God. God and his word are inseparable anyone wanted to attack God and his purpose, the strategic thing to attack is his word. No wonder the Bible says in these last days, false prophets, false teachers, false Christ will emerge from among us. The biggest assault on the kingdom of God is not Boko Haram or Fulani Hesman burning churches. No, it is false teachers distorting the word of God. Even in his church and among his people, there is a subtle plot to undermine and underrate the word of God. And we do this in two principal ways. One of the ways is that we elevate the words of men above the word of God. Instead of reading the Bible into men's books and words, we read men's books and words into the Bible. Oh, my pastor said, my G.O. said, daddy said, mommy said, what did God say? Many of us have lost a vital connection with God because since we became Christians, we have not learned to go to the world and get revelation. People's devotionals have substituted the revelation of the world. The second way we undermine the word of God is Somehow, somehow, I don't know how the church came to a point, we promoted an error that prayer is more important than the world. Much of our re relationship with God is transactional, is business. Prayer and offerings have taken dominance in our churches. The one person who will not bring his heart or her heart to hear God's word in church, we always put an offering in the pocket. He will not dance and respond at the word of God. He will dance and respond to an offering. He wants to make the gods happy so that the gods can make him happy. Otherwise, why do we have night vigils in prayer? No night vigils in the world. Because there's a subtle lie that prayer is superior to the world. No. Any prayer not based on the word is banza. So if I were you, my battle in prayer is not learning how to kick and jump and shout. It's to learn how does God, where does God's will lie in that prayer? And the only place you can find that is in God's word. The most potent prayers in the Bible began when God introduced the prayer topic. You know, the way we pray is reaction. Somebody is telling you, don't impregnate your fiancé before you marry. Say, where is it in the Bible? You are not a Christian. You are a legal expert. <laughs> the biggest fight in the world today is, is God's word the truth or one of many truths? Because you know what? The devil knows where God is taking you to. His problem is he doesn't know the root. If Joseph's brother knew that, selling him to Egypt, it's what we bring to pass the dream. They would have sold themselves. <laughs> Rema is the secret of the world. You don't exercise faith on logos. You exercise faith on Rema. I just want two prayers this night. Father, change my attitude to your word. That when I'm approaching your word, I'm approaching you. To avoid the world, 
is to avoid God. If that comes to your spirit, you take your quiet time seriously. Let's pray. Father, change my attitude to your word. Let me have the same reverence for your word as I have for you. Not to reverence your word is not to reverence you. Give me a new attitude to your word. If I say I love you, give me a new love for your word. If I say I fear you, help me to fear and tremble before your word. Second prayer. Father, deliver me from the letter that kills. Give me the life and spirit that gives life. When I go to your word, whether I'm listening from a preacher on tape, on radio, or reading it from the word, lead me to the spirit and life of the word. Help me not to stop at the letter that kills.